Okay, we're beginning with a pickup, and let's talk about the fingering in terms of the string gauges that you or I might be using here. So I'm using a 9 set, and therefore it's quite easy to take my first finger and do this bend, half step bend, release, pull off. If you're using a 10 set, you might want to use a couple of fingers here, either on the second fret or first and second frets. Anyway, we're starting on the tail end of beat 3 with a six, the last 16th note. We're going to bend this uh, pitch up a half step and release it and pull it off again. And then a good idea would be to damp it before we make our next move. So I'm using my fingertip of my pick hand to do that. Next move is a long slide up to the 9th fret 3rd string with a damp and then up to the 7th fret 1st string also with a damp. Let's put the pickup and the next two notes together, and uh, they're on beat one on the downbeat, not beat a beat one. So we have beat two consists of the eighth fret with a slight quarter step bend, and then over to the third string with a pull off uh, from the ninth to the seventh frets, and down to the ninth fret fourth string, and then finishing on the seventh fret third as follows. After that, we go to the 9th fret 3rd string with a damp. So far, we have... In bar 2, there is a series of hammer-ons moving from the 7th to the 8th to the 9th frets. Double hammer-on. Up to the 7th fret 3rd string. And then back to the 9th fret 4th string and then 9th fret 3rd string. All together, we have... From there, uh, we repeat the hammer-on a little 1 16th note late on beat 3, 7, 8, 9 on the 4th string, up to the 7th fret 1st, and then again 8th fret 2nd with a slight bend, finishing over on beat 1 in measure 3 with a 9th fret 3rd string and a slide down. Uh, let's see, starting with measure 2, we would have... From there, uh, we move up a fret, and uh, we bend a whole step, and then pull, release, and then pull off. So that's 10, releasing, and then over to 8. Again, 10 and 8, just played uh, as is. Ninth fret, third string. Now here, there's a long stretch to the 12th fret on the 4th string, so as to move our hand up uh, into a new position. And so you shift over like this, and then you have the ninth fret on the 3rd string and then a slight bend on the 12th fret 3rd string. All of that. From there, uh, we go to the 10th fret 2nd string and then hammer into the 11th fret and then uh, pull off from the 12th to the 9th frets and uh, then return to the 12th fret, then the 9th and play that twice to finish. So beginning with the hammer from 10 to 11. And beginning with our bend and release. So that's our original question and answer phrase. Now as far as variations are concerned, let's try a bit of harmonizing. So starting in the beginning with our pickup instead of the single string line. We'll use uh, a different approach to get about the same sound, but a fuller sound by harmonizing. So we'll do a quick slide into the third fret, then back to the second, and then pull off. And in both cases, we're playing on all three cases, we're playing on strings three and two. So we have, we have our sli same slide as before. But instead of the single uh, bend on the uh, second string, we'll stay with the seventh fret on the first and uh, play twice uh, in this position, fret 8 and 7 on strings 2 and 1, but with a slight bend on the second string so that we have, so that would be with the preceding beat and the pickup. Then, uh, as before, we will uh, go to the ninth fret third string and play uh, primarily the same. Moving to the hammers in the second bar, we're the same there until we get to the end of the measure. So playing up to that point, it would be... Now, as before, where we went with single notes, we'll go with the double stop this time. And uh, that'd be like so. 
and then a little bit early going to our ninth fret third string note. In the uh, uh, bend release pull off area we'll keep that lick identical but finish it a little bit differently so let me move through it to that point. So we've got And then at that point, instead of the 12th fret 3rd string, we'll go up to the octave, play the high E, down to the low, play it twice and slide out. So there's a few variations. Okay, let's go on to our next phrase. <laughs> 